It is finally happening. I am wrapping my car, and I've been talking about this forever. I got this 2023 AMG GT, and the original color that I got it with was a matte metallic dark gray. First thing I did as soon as I got it was fully PPF this thing. So the finish you see on here is a matte PPF. It is a matte clear wrap, but paint protection film. So the cool thing about this is that not only does it change the way it looks, makes it look super nice, and it protects the paint. So it protects it from rock chips, scratches, even from the rain. So when it gets wet, it's like ceramic coating. It falls right off the car, super cool. I went ahead and did the entire car in this to protect it right off the showroom floor. Something cool about this paint protection film is that not only will it last you over 10 years, yes, 10 years, when you take this off, it will literally leave the car looking brand new. So no scratches, no rock chips, none of that stuff. Just like you got it from the showroom floor is exactly how it will be after you peel it off. So super nice and clean. So when it comes time to sell the car, trade it in, or even change the color of it, maybe you want to wrap it a different color, the surface on this vehicle is going to be perfect. So you always want to throw some protection on there as soon as you get the car, and that's the reason I did it on mine. I'm getting ready to peel the PPF off of this car, but before I do that, I want to give you some tips on removing paint protection film. First things first, do not peel it. No, God, please, no, no! At room temperature, and definitely don't do it while it's super cold outside. You want to use a little bit of heat. If possible, if it's hot out there, park it outside in the sun, let it sit there a bit, and then start peeling carefully. If you notice it's coming off smooth, that is perfect. If not, possibly take it to a shop before you try it. That's probably the best thing to do, take it to a shop. But if you want to do it yourself, at least make sure it has some heat and pull carefully. So I'm gonna go ahead and start by peeling a little bit on this fender. I think this is gonna be like the safest way to start. And then I'll go from there, maybe the hood. The hood's gonna take a while. It's a big piece. When you start peeling hoods, even with wrap, it takes a while. I prefer to do it with two people. But I'm gonna go ahead and do this real quick. I got my heat gun here. And I'm gonna put some heat to it before I start peeling. And the car feels kind of warm. It was parked outside, but I think it needs a little bit more. Before I start peeling this, I do want to get a little section warm before I get on there. This one here is actually made to last around 12 years, so even more than 10. And check how clean this comes off. Coming out nice. I really like that paint. It is super glossy. One of the reasons I like to remove PPF and wraps outside is because if you notice while I'm peeling this little by little, every time I stop, it leaves like a little line of glue. And that little line of glue, you're gonna have to go back and clean later on. So if you do a bunch of lines as you're going, you're gonna have to clean a bunch of glue. Overall, it's coming off clean, but it could be even easier if you parked it outside in the sun, especially in Texas. We have 100 degree weather out there. Except today, we got a tornado going on now, but it is raining. I'm gonna go ahead and keep peeling this with the heat gun, nice and slow. But one thing I do worry, and I wanna let y'all know, is that when I got this car, I literally PPF'd it one month after it was made. So the paint on this car was super fresh. I just got it. Yes, you wanna PPF your car right away, but you also wanna make sure that it's at least three months old, or at least the paint is three months on there uh, before you do it. I did it right away, so we're gonna see what happens. As of now, it looks clean. Let's continue on and peel some of this PPF. I really like the way this paint looks. Like this paint is super shiny. I almost wanna keep it like that, but I gotta wrap it. I'm a wrapper, I gotta wrap it. So as I'm finishing up with this quarter, one of the main things I noticed is the paint. I haven't seen it in like five months, and now that I see it, it makes me wish that I would have gone with gloss instead of matte. This matte is nice, but that paint, I feel like it's even nicer. That's what I should have probably went with, but I do like this look. So we're gonna go ahead and take this off. But just to give you a little bit of insight on this paint protection film, not only does it last 10 to 12 protection paint against rock chips, scratches, 
it's one of the things that's taken over the entire industry. So nowadays I'm seeing that more and more companies are going towards the PPF side and not just clear. So this is matte clear. Traditionally, most people go with gloss. You'll see PPF on the front of cars protecting from rock chips and stuff, but they're coming out with colors. And that is a big thing. For the longest, they've never had colors. And one of the biggest in the industry, 3M. I know everyone has heard about them. They're coming out with color paint protection film. You probably haven't heard about that, but lately I've been hearing that. Lumar, Lumar has released that satin black PPF. You might've seen it on my last video. PPF is a big thing and it's coming. Real soon, you're gonna be able to get wraps or PPF that's gonna last you double the amount of a traditional wrap. So there is still gonna be a time and place for wraps, but there's also this coming in that's gonna last you double or triple the time. But one thing to keep in mind though, pricing for this is up there versus a wrap. So there's still gonna be room for both. The new ones that are coming are gonna be installed dry and wet. So you decide which way you wanna go, but it is super, super cool. I'm gonna go ahead and pivot. By then, I got no choice but to wrap it. I'm gonna have my this assembly guy take it apart, take out the bumpers, headlights, taillights, door handles, side mirrors, everything. We're gonna take this car completely apart, and then I got no choice but to make it happen. What color am I gonna wrap my car? That's the hard question right there. I have some of my favorite brands here going through all their different options. And as you notice, they have hundreds of color options. There are so many here that I don't know what to wrap my car in. So I like things about each single brand. So for example, KPMF, they have a lot of the good and cool color shifts. These color shifts are like paint, it changes. So that's one of the coolest things about them that they change the way they look. For example, you may not see it on camera, but this one goes from red to black. This is one of the coolest colors I've seen when I've wrapped the car and seeing it on this car, I think will look perfect, especially with the red seats it has. That's one of the cool options there. But seeing all these color options, I don't know which one to go with. Let's see, I do like purples. They have some nice purples. They also have matte ice titaniums. Those titaniums look like satin chrome. If y'all saw that video I posted, the sand blue chrome car, that's how that looks. And seeing it on this car, I feel like it would also look good because it has some nice body lines on there. So it is really hard to choose what I want. APA, AKA Evolve, they have some of the coolest options too because they have super gloss colors with a lot of flake in them. That's what I like. These colors look like paint. This is as close as you can get to paint in a wrap. They have so many options, they're booked, and they're always adding more and more options. They just added some colors, but I don't know which one to go with. Like, I got too many options. We got PWF. PWF has a lot of cool ones. We've been using this a lot lately. You can see here how they have some of the colors shifting. All of these colors here, when the sun hits them, they change. So you may not see it on camera, but you definitely see it when the car comes out in the sun. And of course, what I'm known for, chrome wraps. I always go with this brand here, Hexus. They have all the different chrome colors that you can think of, but out of these colors, I don't know which one I want. I've done blue in the past. I've done turquoise, the last one. I don't know what color to go with. This rose gold looks crazy. If I saw this car in rose gold, I don't know if it would look super clean, but so would any other color on here. I don't know what I want. What do y'all think I should get? Cause I'll literally get anything right now. We gotta make it happen. So if it were up to me, I mean, it is easy, right? I don't know. It is hard to decide what color I'm gonna go with. I am leaning towards this light blue chrome. Kinda wanna go with that. I'm not 100% yet. I also kinda was thinking about doing the silver, the traditional silver chrome, just because it makes it look like a mirror. The last time I did a car in that stuff, inside it looked cool, it looked crazy, but the moment I put it outside, it literally looked like it disappeared. Uh, Mermaid Man. Yes, Barnacle Boy? We're not in the invisible boat mobile, are we? Uh, nope. Cause it's a straight mirror. It reflects everything. So it looks like there's no car there. I was considering that, like the silver one. Uh, let me see, let me show y'all. Cause that's not even the silver one there. This is the silver one. The silver one here looks just like a straight mirror. And it looks even better now when you put it on the car. On these samples, they're a little bit different. I don't know what to put on my car, but I gotta do something for sure. We're gonna take this off. We're gonna disassemble it and we're gonna start wrapping this thing. Yeah, so out of all these options, I really don't know what color to go with. I literally have like 10 more books inside. I didn't even show you all of them. But if you have any ideas, let me know in the comments. I want something crazy though. This car has to stand out. I do wraps. The reason I wrap it is to promote my business. If you got a business, you got to wrap it too. 
we do commercial wraps. One cool thing about PPF is that when I did this, I didn't have to take my car apart. I literally did the entire car without removing a single thing, the whole thing. We didn't even take off the door handles. We didn't take off side mirrors, no bumpers, none of that. So one cool thing about PPF, we pre-cut it with our machine, put it on the car, ready to go, and it protects your paint. Now when it comes to wraps, because we're gonna wrap it this time, I am gonna fully disassemble and do it the right way. That's the right way for wraps, PPF, you got two choices. Disassemble if you want to, or do it like that without disassembly, go the safe route and keep it on there. So getting ready to peel this whole thing, hoping that I could peel the whole car, me and my guy, maybe in about one day. So just hopefully by the end of the day today, it is kind of late. By tomorrow, I wanna start taking this thing apart all the way. I better decide what color to go with. So let me know so I could order that material and throw it on there. Shit. Who knows, I might give away a free wrap too. If you're the one I choose, I might even throw one out there. So let me know any ideas on what to do because I really don't know. I always go chrome, so I kind of want to go with that, but I'm also open to any type of wrap. So yeah, so I'm gonna get back to it. I'm gonna finish off this car, peel it all up. And before I go, make sure you let me know what color I should go with. So drop a comment, let me know what wrap I should get, and I'll see you guys on the next one.